K-Points Convergence Tutorial Create a simulation, by navigating to the Job Designer page Then Open the Workflow tab, and choose the Total Energy Workflow by selecting it in the list This workflow can be imported from the bank, if it is not already listed Now, insert the Convergence add-on Review the default values in the Convergence dialog, and accept them by clicking Apply Notice the sequence of units at the bottom of the workflow editor, then, open the WASP unit, by clicking it. Inspect the WASP input files displayed at the bottom. Notice how the size of the grid of K points is varied incrementally, to progressively verify if the total energy is well converged. We now navigate to the Detailed View tab, and tick the Convergence Ionic option listed there, to monitor the evolution of the energy convergence. After that, navigate to Compute tab, and set Compute Configuration. Here, we use one node with four cores. Then, set the name for the job. Here, we call it, Silicon K-Point Convergence Test. Next, save the job. It can then be selected and submitted to the compute queue, for execution. The status of the calculation will change from pre-submitted to submitted, and then to active. Please wait, until the job has finished running. When the job is finished, open it, to inspect the final results, including that for the total energy. The Go back to the Workflow tab, and inspect again the WASP unit, which this time has a different appearance. Then, navigate to the Charts tab, where the evolution of the ionic energy throughout the convergence test can be verified, in the corresponding plot. This completes the present tutorial.